Professor, you're still awake. Yes, I've been organizing the data we've collected about monsters. And what are you doing up at this hour? I was fixing your key crest. Thank you, but you mustn't overexert yourself. It's going to be a long journey after all. I don't mind if it takes a while to fix. So are you saying that it's okay for Genus and me to come along on this journey? Wasn't that your intent from the beginning? Stop pretending. <laughs> oh yeah, I fixed the key crest, so here, take it. You fixed it already? Thank you, Lloyd. So this is an X-Sphere. Ask Genus to show you how to use it. Sorry to have startled you. Startled isn't the word for it. You'd best not stand behind me. I won't. Do you like animals? No, not particularly. Well, Noah seems to be quite comfortable with you. He usually doesn't like strangers. I once had a pet, long ago. Really? Lloyd. Uh, what? What are you staring at me like that for? Your swordmanship is unrefined. You should focus a little more on eliminating your vulnerabilities. If you care about your life. Ah! Just because he's a little better than me, he has to talk like he knows everything. Well, a lot better than me. Damn!
Don't get too comfortable. Get him! All right! Get him! Our weapons are love, justice, and uh, hope. So hot. Man, I'm beat. See? You're already worn out. I'm sick of this desert. Oh. What's wrong, Noish? Be on your guard. There are enemies about. Gonna regret this. <laughs> there. Oh, whoops. <laughs> this is going to be a nuisance. What is? Uh, nothing. Anyway, it would be a good idea for you to learn techniques to protect yourself. Are you talking about self-defense training? Something like that. Techniques to raise your defense during battles. I'll show you how it's done. Once you grasp the theory, the rest should be easy. Okay, I don't really get it, but I already feel stronger. I can't wait to try it out. I think you're just imagining things. Hmm. What happened to Noish? You're right, he's gone. Oh, man, he's run off again. He's probably nervous about the monsters. I think it would be best not to count on Noish in places with monsters around. It has my family's crest on it. Fantastic! Look at this slab covering the entrance. It's clearly of a different composition than the surrounding stone. <laughs> it's just as I thought. This is polycarbonate, developed during the ancient war to defend against magic. Feel the smooth surface. It's wondrous. Is she always like this? Is she? Uh, I've been trying so hard to hide it, too. Hmm? This depression, it reads. Oracle Stone. Colette, place your hand here. That should reveal the entrance. Really? This stone is enchanted with magic designed to identify the Chosen. There's no question about it. It opened! Wow! I'm really the Chosen after all. Yes, I think we all know that already. Okay, now it's getting exciting. Let's hurry up and go inside. I hope you'll be able to maintain that enthusiasm.
You're gonna regret this! Gonna be a piece of cake. I'll talk, no action.
This place is also built with Magi technology. Absolutely fantastic. Ah, what the? This is gonna be a piece of cake. Something's coming. <laughs> Out of my sight. <laughs> You, the Chosen of Regeneration, offer your prayers at the altar. Yes, my lord. O oh, Goddess Martell, great protector and nurturer of the earth, grant me thy strength. Colette, my dear daughter, you have done well. Thank you, Father. The Guardian of the Seal has fallen, and the first seal has been released. Ifrit will surely awaken soon. In the name of Crucius, I shall grant you the power of the angels. Thank you, my lord. The angel transformation will not be without pain, yet it is but for one night. Be strong and endure. I humbly accept this trial. The next seal lies far to the east, across the sea. Offer your prayers at that altar. Yes, Lord Remuel. I shall await you at the next seal, the Chosen of Regeneration, my beloved daughter Colette. Colette has wings! Uh-huh, and look, I can put them away too. Oh wow, that's so cool! Here, look, look! The next place is across the sea. That means we get to sail on a ship. <laughs> I can't wait. A ship? Hmm. I wonder if there are any ships sailing with the way things are right now. We should head to the coast to see what we can find. Okay, you two. We get it already. That's enough.
Colette, are you okay? I'm fine. You don't look fine at all. Your face is completely white. It's all my fault. I got carried away and kept making her pull her wings in and out. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Now's not the time for that. Her lips are turning purple. We must get her to a doctor in the city immediately. Wait. It's best not to move her. Why? Remember the Angel's words. The Angel transformation process requires her to overcome a trial. Rather than taking her to a doctor, it would be best to let her rest here. I'm... okay. I'll be fine after a little rest. I'm sorry to cause so much trouble. Stop apologizing all the time, you dork. It's not as if you can help it. You were suddenly turned into an angel. You're right. I'm sorry. <sighs> well, anyway, let's set up camp before it gets dark. Oh yeah, I know it's kind of late now, but here's your birthday present. Oh no, it's broken. I wonder when it broke. I'm sorry, I'll make you a new one. Thanks. And I'm sorry that I keep causing trouble for you. Don't worry about it. By the way, you haven't been eating at all. Are you still feeling sick? No, I'm fine. I just don't seem to have much of an appetite. You won't be able to keep up your strength if you don't eat. I know, you're right. <coughs> Lloyd, don't push her. Colette is delicate, unlike you. Shut it! I'm sorry, Colette. No, no, I'm okay. 
I'm really sorry for worrying you. I'm gonna go for a little walk. Want me to come? Thanks, but I'll be fine by myself. Ha ha, you got rejected. Hey, shut up, genus. Ugh. <clears throat> What's happening to me?